Arsenal are in talks to sign him for more than £60 million after a three-year spell at Stamford Bridge during which he has struggled to find consistency following his £75 million arrival from Bayer Leverkusen. Havertz's goals per game average at Chelsea is 0.23, lower than his 0.31 average at Leverkusen. His 2022-23 season was particularly underwhelming, with only Leeds Patrick Bamford recording a greater underperformance compared to his expected goals output. Havertz also missed 14 of the 18 big chances he was presented with. Havertz's movement and mastery of space will doubtless be alluring to Arteta, who asks his attacking players to interchange positions frequently in order to maintain an element of unpredictability. His versatility would therefore be similarly valuable. Havertz played more commonly as a central striker than any other position for Chelsea but he was used right across the front line. Some even see him as a midfielder. Maybe his best position is as a number 8 in the 4-3-3 formation, added Cork at back in 2020. That, of course, is the formation Arteta uses at Arsenal and the right-sided number 8 position occupied by Martin Odegaard is just one of several slots in the team that Havertz could feasibly fill. His two-footedness is such that he could also play on the other side, in the role occupied by Granit Xhaka last term, while he could also provide a much-needed alternative to Bukayo Saka, who faced a grueling workload last season, on the right flank. Then there is the potential to use him up front. Havertz is not dissimilar to Gabriel Jesus in terms of his movement, work rate and ability to press. He made more high-intensity sprints and covered more ground than any other Chelsea player last season but he would bring different qualities to the number 9 role too. At 6 feet 2 ins, he offers height and a level of aerial prowess Arsenal do not currently have in the position. Havertz is not a traditional target man, but he has the strength and stature to win duels and bring others into the play and offers an aerial threat in the box too. Last season, he scored three-headed goals in the Premier League, while only eight players in the division attempted more headed shots, and only 11 players had more on target. A deeper look at the numbers is even more revealing. In total, Havertz won 56% of his aerial duels last season, a higher success rate than even Ivan Toni or Aleksandr Mitrovic, both 48%. Jesus, by comparison, only won 37% of his.